Hi everyone, my name is Val. I work for the Information Lab and I build a lot of business dashboards. And one of the very common requests that we get, especially from clients who are migrating to Tableau from other BI tools, is to create dynamic text tables where dashboard users would be able to choose which and how many fields are included in their tables. And now while this functionality isn't exactly native to Tableau, there are several workarounds that we can use to achieve something similar. And today I'm going to show you one of the techniques to achieve that. What we'll be able to create is something looking like this. By default, I have a table showing a breakdown by region, where the two metrics I'm showing are current year sales and the difference from the prior year sales. First, I'm going to ask the user to specify how many columns they would like to see in their breakdown. So let's say they wanted to see three different columns. And the moment they do that, two additional drop downs will appear for them. Then let's say they wanted to see category in their second column and segment in the third column. And the final thing they need to do is go into the table and add those two additional columns in. Now, I know this may not be as intuitive as it could be, but as long as we provide clear instructions to our users, this is often a satisfactory compromise. So how do we achieve this? In a blank Tableau workbook, I'm going to start by creating my parameter for the first column in the table. I'm going to go ahead and create a new parameter. I am going to call this column one parameter. I'm going to make sure it's set to a string type and I'm going to specify the list of options that I'm allowing the user to choose from. So let's say we're going to have region, we're going to have state, category, subcategory, segment, and ship mode. I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to display this parameter and for the moment I'm just going to switch this to a single value list. And then I'm going to use this parameter in a calculated field. I'm going to create a calculated field and I'm going to call this one column one. And I'm going to use a case statement to describe the options in the parameter. So the case column one parameter. When that is set to region then use the region field. When it's set to state, then use the state field. When category, then category, etc. When I have that calculated field, I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to bring this to the row shelf. And then I'm going to populate this table with the two metrics I want to show. I already have my current year sales. I'm going to drag that onto the ABCs. And then I'm going to find my difference from prior year and add that into the table as well. I'm just going to change the format So the idea here is that as I change the values of the parameter, the first column will dynamically respond to whatever my choice is. And what I'd like to do is add several other columns into the same table that would also be dynamic. So to achieve that, I'm going to first duplicate my column one parameter and I'm going to edit the copy. I'm going to rename it to column two parameter. And the only thing I'm going to change here, I'm going to add a none option. So at the bottom of the list, I'm going to say none, and I'm just going to drag that to the top of the list. I'm going to hit okay, and then I'm going to duplicate my column one field, edit the copy, change the name to column two, 
and I'll make sure that it's referencing the column two parameter. And I'm also going, going to add a clause where I'm describing the none option. When none, then just show an empty string. I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to bring column two onto the rows as well. If I display column two parameter, I'll be able to choose what is being shown in that second column. As the next steps, I'm going to repeat this process two more times for two more dynamic columns. So I'm going to duplicate column two parameter, edit the copy, rename it to column three, and hit OK. And then I'm going to duplicate column two field, edit the copy, rename to column three, and make sure it's referencing column three parameter. And one last time for column four. Once I have all of those, I'm going to bring column three and column four onto the rows as well and I'm going to show both of those parameters as well. This gets us to a stage where the user can dynamically decide what is being shown in all of the four columns in the view. So let's say category, uh, sorry, region, category, subcategory, and maybe nothing in the fourth column. And in some scenarios, this might already be good enough. In some other scenarios, your stakeholders may not be huge fans of seeing a bunch of empty space uh, in the view, especially if, let's say, column three and four were both set to none. So in this scenario, what you can do is create a hierarchy of those four dynamic fields that we've created. So what I'm going to do is, in my data pane, I'm going to grab my column two field and drop it onto column one. And that will create a hierarchy, so I'm just going to call this dynamic columns. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to add column three to the same hierarchy and column four to the same hierarchy. And so with that, what the user can do is use these plus and minus signs at the top of each column to decide how many columns they would like to display. And if they only wanted to show two columns, they stop there. If they wanted to add a third column, they would hit on the, on the plus again and configure the third field. Maybe in this case, segment. And this covers the basics of the technique. Uh, all we need to do is just add some formatting and using Tableau's dynamic zone visibility, we can get it to a stage where the dashboard looks a little bit neater and a little bit more user friendly. So let's say we wanted to add a fourth column now, and that would be ship mode, add the column into the table. Thank you all for watching. I hope you found this useful. Don't be shy and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to stay up to date with all the other cool content that we share, join our newsletter.